And we're back, and this is video 56, and when last we left off, we were in the middle of a cutscene, so we'll just get right back to that. Until they've left, I'll keep you safe. The first treatment sample is done. This is a token of my thanks. Oh, crap, I could have put that in the last video. Oh well. I keep going over the memory I just found again and again. I'm trying to convince myself of Mother's existence. The Epicari virus had spread to this underground facility. The mercenaries controlling this region decided to execute us. I know Mother protected me then. She'd even gone so far as to murder her own comrades. That psychotic lady who loved blood and set traps for me. Mother. She's been protecting me all this time. I look up. Okay. I don't think there's stuff all over the floor. I notice a box in the middle of the junk on the floor. The corner of this box looks burnt. Looks like it was dragged here. We don't want to touch any of those. There's some kind of utensils on top of the desk. Were they used for some kind of experiment? There are desk tools in Revo. I'm trying to remember if there's anything. There's stuff. Blah 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 blah. This is probably gonna get me shanked. They feel cold and metallic. They've covered in thin layer of dust. Seems like it's been a while since they were last used. Okay. So I guess there's nothing else we need in here either. I'm just... I'm leery to leave before I make sure that there's nothing. But I don't think there is, so let's get out of here. Out we go. go back this way. Oops. There we go. And this door, which we haven't gone into yet. Whee. Scene of zoomingness. Well, it would be. <laughs> it's going kind of slow. Oh my goodness, what's going on? Shaking and whoa, whoa. Uh, I did. We just die. No. Okay. <laughs> um. Surprise! <laughs> the room shakes as I walk in, knocking me to the ground. What a racket. It feels like there's a huge machine running somewhere nearby. It sounds like a big, complicated machine. I wonder what this room is for. This room is hot. I feel like I'm next to a fire. I think the door says generator room. <laughs> One second. Alright, so let's look around here, guys. The big machine is shaking and giving off a lot of heat. The thunderous grunting noise it makes is very loud. These stairs go up. It looks like they go up some sort of chimney. It's a spiral staircase. Okay, we have to go up these stairs. And these stairs are like five stories of stair climbing. And I am not going to make you watch me climb stairs. Literally, it takes like ten minutes. So I'm going to cut this video. We're going up these stairs. Just assume that we've gone up them. And when we get to the top, I'll come back. Alright, see you in a minute. Alright, so here we are at the top of the stairs. And there's a thingy here, so we're going to click on it. Some kind of machine is set up. Let's look at it. There are a number of different switches. Do they control this machine? Let's look at that. There's some plastic explosive planted on the machine. We want this. Let's take it. 
This, this was probably part of the plan to destroy the facility. There's a piece of paper in between the device and the plastic explosive. It looks like this piece of paper has the locations of the other pieces of plastic explosive. It looks like the rest of them are in B2F after you go down the ladder. I wonder which ladder it's referring to. Still, as long as I have these explosives, I can destroy any prison door. I think looking for the rest of the explosives might be a good idea. For now, I think I'll take some of the plastic explosive. I hear a sound from somewhere nearby. Maybe a door just unlocked. Alright, so that's what we need from there. So we'll leave and we'll go this way, and this door just unlocked for us. I thought I heard a sound from this door. Okay. That's a hint that it's unlocked, so we're gonna open it. Open. open. The door seems to be open. Open door. Out we go. I feel like humming like the Jeopardy music here right now or something. <laughs> I open the door and a gust of wind hits me in the face. It scares me, and for a moment I hesitate to open the door, except for she just said she opened it, but whatever. But just then, I realize there is a small piece of paper on the metal door. I pick it up. November 3rd. My memory. Mother has been setting up traps all over this underground facility. Mother is probably only capable of showing her love through violence. She means to keep me by her side forever. If I left her behind and went somewhere else, I'm sure she would rather kill me than let me go. And by hurting me, she makes it so I can never forget. That was the only way that Mother knew how to love. Now, it's time to sleep. My memory fades each day. I think I'm infected with the purple virus. So I took the vaccine, the red squirming vaccine. My beloved mother is quietly squirming around inside my body. Vaccine Teresia. The stench of blood. Surrounding mother, the eyes brimming with madness. Yes, I remember. Since the day she found me. Mother has always loved me. Sure has a funny way of showing it, really. Her love for her child. Set traps, tell her she can never talk to anyone ever again, just her, etc., etc. Now we're outside. Ooh, shiny. Suddenly, my body is buffeted by a strong blast of air. I climb the twisting staircase and go through the door. I let the wind blow around me and think of Mother. The piece of paper I'm holding has Leanne Teresia written on it in tiny letters. That's right. Epicari, the purple virus, causes people to lose their memory. As Epicari spread, I stayed behind with Mother. We knew this place was going to be deserted. And Mother began to fill the building with traps to make sure I wouldn't run away and would stay by her side forever. She could only express herself through violence. That was the only way she could show me her love. I remember everything. The traps that drink my blood are a sign of your love. With this pain and these scars, you make sure I'll never forget you existed. And if I'm going to leave you anyway, you might as well take my life, right? That's right. Mother loved me. She left me underground, and I waited for her to return, but she never came back. Perhaps she died soon after she left me. I was infected by Epicari, and gradually started to lose my memory. Vaccine Teresia. I injected myself with the medicine made from Mother's DNA and fell asleep in that room. And now I'm here. I remember everything. 
I should just get out of here. However, I want to see Mother one last time. Alright, so we're on the sixth floor, which tells you how many stairs I had to climb. And since I'm already over ten minutes again, we're going to cut it off here. And um, next time we'll go down the ladder and blow this facility up and do some other fun times. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye!